literally just put the key in my door to get into this place and I have been absolutely swamped by mosquitoes. Bloody things. Christ, you'd think they were starving. Unbelievable. Yeah, I don't think I'll be staying here very long. It's not the best of uh, places. I guess you get what you pay for. I'll be seeking out further accommodation, if not tonight, as soon as possible, because these mosquitoes are deadly. Hi everyone, so how do you get from Bangkok to the islands? Well, I'm heading to Koh Samet, one of my favorite little islands, and I'm going from Koh, Sam, uh, Koh San Road in Bangkok. Obviously it depends where you're going from. Uh, on this occasion, I'm going from Koh San Road, so I'm gonna get myself a taxi from Koh San Road to Ekamai uh, bus station, coach station, um, and that's what you need to do basically is get to Ekamai coach or bus station uh, I'm going to grab a taxi but depending on where you're coming from you can get a train or a tuk-tuk whatever suits the purpose so yeah the main thing is head for Ekamai bus station coach station main main coach station bus station well it's time to leave Bangkok and head for those paradise islands I'm in the middle of, of Koh San Road at the moment and I'm going to grab myself a taxi and head to Ekamai bus coach station. So yeah, it's uh, about eight o'clock in the morning now, and uh, I'm gonna grab a taxi and head towards uh, Ekamai bus station, coach station. Again, depending on where you're coming from, you can get the train if you want to, but I'm gonna grab a cab. Here I am, Ekamai, Ekamai bus coach station, and uh, yeah, it's taken me about a half hour to get here by taxi from Koh San Road. So that's the bus I'm waiting for from Ekamai to Banfei. Banfei is the ferry port in Rayong, uh, where I get my ferry to Koh Samet Island. So yeah, this is uh, Ekamai bus station, coach station, mini bus station, call it what you like. Wherever you're going, basically, this is the center hub of Bangkok where you're gonna get your buses or coaches to your different destinations. Today, I'm heading towards Koh Samet Island. I'm getting a bus, it's gonna be about a four hour journey. Um, yeah, but take me to one of my favorite little islands, Koh Samet. So I've just arrived at um, what's this called? Koh Samet. Uh, this is uh, Banfei, and this is where I'm going to get my ferry ticket to go to Koh Samet. Hopefully, testing, testing, testing. So yeah, I've just arrived at Banfei. This is the ferry port. This is where I'm going to get my ticket from to go to. Koh Samet. All the prices are up there. I don't know how much it's charging. One way, 200 baht. Seems a bit pricey. I've normally got a 50 baht, but there you go. So yeah, let me go and grab my ticket. So where do I get my ticket? Speed boat, ferry boat, speed boat, two hundred baht for yeah. one person. So, and how, and how much is the speed boat? How much is the ferry boat? Ferry boat, two hundred baht, round trip. And uh, speed boat, four hundred baht for one person. Go and come back round trip. So I just want to take the ferry boat. And you wait about uh, two thirty. Two thirty. What's yeah. the time now? Yeah. Uh, time. One thirty, yeah. You wait one hour. Two thirty, are not sure. And the three o'clock. Yeah, no and problem. And the picture. Yeah, this uh, this uh, you wait a fifteen minutes. The boat leave. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. 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 Yeah
minutes. Yeah. Four hundred baht. Yeah, so you come back, you come back, you call me before one hour, no from time to get open day. I go for two months. Oh, no from time. One month, two months, three months, no from time. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going back there. Yeah. Half day, two days, you know, it's two hundred baht. Single ticket. Okay. It's my single ticket. Going to close the Met, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, you wait? Yeah. Oh, Where do I wait? Huh? And you wait an hour there, so we can go okay. for 15 minutes and a half. Thank you very much. So I've just been told my boat is here and it is going to be leaving in a minute. So I've basically got to now run to catch this boat. So it's bullshit what they were saying about it being an hour's time. But no problem, I can make it. Same, same, this man. This boat. Been told it'd be an hour away from my ferry. Uh, I managed to get on this speedboat. Uh, I had to run to catch it because it's on its way. But sweet as means I'm going to get the island quicker than I thought I originally would. And uh, yeah, coast to met. Here I come. I'm gonna do find myself a scooter, try and get to my final destination, Fian Hills Resort. I've arrived. Oh. One person. Okay. Oh. So I've just been given a little ticket by soldiery looking person. That's uh, gonna cost me 20 baht to get on the island. It's the best of my memory. It used to be. It still is. Yeah, something like that. Ah, oh, hundred baht. It's all gone up a little bit. So it's just cost me two hundred baht. Tian, 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 Tian Hills. Tian, Tian Hills. Tian Hills. How much is it? 
Yeah. 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 Maybe I take motorbike. How much motorbike? Motorbike, you you for them? Yeah. For them. Four hundred baht one day. I'll take this. Yeah. 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 So I'm not sure what to do just yet. I might take a BART bus for a 400 BART. For 100 BART, which is basically £2.50. Get to my hotel, put the bags down. Then I've got a problem getting back from the hotel, so I'm uh, not really sure what to do here. So yeah, I've arrived here, Saint Fian. Um, little beach resort that looks like the little beach huts that I'm going to be staying in we work out about 20 quid a night um, I've only booked in for two nights basically just to see how it goes see if I like it if I do like it well, I might stay a little bit longer all depending obviously So yeah, information. Looking at the little beach huts. Lovely. What kind of place? Ready up. Hello. So let's go and check the beach out, just for the hell of it, because we can. Sangtian Beach Resort. Don't know where I'm. Oh, it's from a check in over there. Just have a look at the beach first. See what we're letting ourselves in for. Bit of a rocky shore over there, but no worries. All looks good. Happily go for a swim there, no problem at all. Beautiful. Right, on that note, let's go and check in. Beach huts look a bit shabby, but who knows? Don't judge a book by its cover, they say. Sang Thian Resort, beach resort. Well, I've just arrived at my chalet to be greeted by this lovely little fella. Don't know what it is. Looks like a member of the scorpion family. I won't be touching that. Don't look too friendly. So that's it. I've arrived at my beach chalet. Looks a bit shabby if you ask me. Uh, 1700 baht for two nights. That's what it's cost me. So basically about 20 quid a night, give or take. And uh, yeah, let's open these doors and see what it has to offer inside. Never judge a book by its cover, as they say. I think I'm in for a few surprises. Literally just put the key in my door to get into this place. And I have been absolutely swamped by mosquitoes. Bloody things. Christ, you'd think they were starving. Unbelievable. Yeah, I don't think I'll be staying here very long. It's not the best of uh, places. I guess you get what you pay for. I'll be seeking out further accommodation, if not tonight, as soon as possible, because these mosquitoes are deadly. I'm not even going to go back outside to spray myself. I'm going to do this quickly because the mosquitoes are absolutely annihilating me. Basically, shabby old bed. I'm going to close this door. Stop them coming in. So I don't want them eating me alive at night. And I'm literally killing them as they attack me. Unbelievable. I'm going to have to get some spray on straight away. So this is the room. Got air conditioning. Yeah, it's, uh, 
im Schal, Toilette. Um, I literally booked this online, and as usual, picture is always better than the actual thing. But yeah, this is the uh, Tian Hills Resort. Really does look a bit dodgy. I don't even know if I'll be staying here the night, but we will see. Let me get settled in. First thing I'm gonna do right now First thing I'm going to do right now is get some mosquito repellent on because these little buggers, either they like white skin and haven't seen white skin for a little while, or they're on a mission. And I think they're on a mission to get as much of my blood as possible. Oh my God, not good. I'll see you in a minute. So, I try not to make it a habit of doing uh, bad reviews on places, <clears throat> but you know, sometimes I don't mind it too rough, too shabby, but this one really, especially for the price, you know, 20 quid a night. Um, no, I'm really sorry for these people. I know they're trying to make a living and everything, but I also owe my respect to my viewers and my channel, and I'll be 100% honest with you. Um, no, I'm not gonna name and shame, but I mean, that's my little hut. You know, there's like a three inch gap above the door at the main entrance. Uh, it's swamped with mosquitoes here. So, best case scenario, I'll wake up in the morning with a face like a pizza. Worst case scenario, I'll wake up a skeleton by the time those mosquitoes are finished with me. So yeah, I've been here. I'm not sleeping here tonight. I can't even sleep here tonight. I'm literally getting my things <coughs> and I'll found somewhere else that I will do a video of. That I will recommend and it's a thousand times sorry a million times better so yeah see you in a minute so I just arrived in Kosamet and the place I checked into uh, really was pretty much unlivable so I've checked into another place uh, this is again in Alpai the beach called Alpai uh, it's cost me 300 quid for the month, but that's long term. So if you're going to stay long term, that's the price you're going to get for it. And yeah, check this out. So this is my apartment in Alpai. I've just checked into. I haven't even been in here yet, so it's all nice and fresh. If I can get the key in. Place. It's the baby. It's open, that's the main thing. Look at that. Beautiful double bed. I'm even going to take my shoes off out of respect to myself. So, yeah, I've got a fridge, television, little work table for my uh, laptop if I want it. Nice little mirror, little door there. I'm not sure where that goes, but look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Nice big massive double bed where I can spread out as much as I like. Air conditioning, so important. Let's see what's behind the little white door. Well, oh, look at that. Little patio. Fantastic. Not the best view in the world, but hey, you know what? For this price, I can't complain. So yeah, 300 quid for the month. This is gonna do me absolutely fine. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got restaurants and little bars all around the area. 
Fantastic, but there you go. Apart from that, absolutely brilliant. Really impressed with that. And on that note, I'm gonna get my things in and settle into my new home for the next month. Thank you.